Hey everyone, you may remember a while back I made a video showing the setup of my spinnaker pole and the lines that are used to operate the pole. And during that video I had mentioned that I was going to try and take some video during the round salt spring race to show everyone how that pole is used uh, along with the actual spinnaker. So you'll just have to bear with us a little bit because the conditions were light and pretty much everyone on board wasn't familiar with my spinnaker and how it operates on my boat. Actually the only two people that were familiar with that was myself and Patrick. So it was sort of a learning, teaching environment and a lot of the clips that you're seeing are the first time uh, that we did any of these maneuvers. So the first thing of course that I'm going to do before we start the race is set up the pole and all the lines on the foredeck so that we're not doing that once we're out and I call for a spinnaker hoist and we haven't even got the pole set up. So just like you saw in my previous video on setting the pole up, that's exactly how I would have it set up on the deck the entire time during the race so we're ready at any time to hoist it. Now like I mentioned, this was all taken during a race and I didn't get a chance to run up on the foredeck and get a close-up shot of what the spinnaker bag looks like attached to the rail on the foredeck just prior to the hoist. So what I'm going to do is just set all that up here at the dock and just go over how the lines are hooked up and how it's ready to come out of the bag. But I'm at the marina at the dock so this isn't a clip from the actual race. So here you can see the spinnaker packed in the bag prior to launching it and the line in the center there is the halyard and that is attached to the head of the sail and the spinnaker is packed in such a way that it will be hoisted out of the bag without any twisting or issues. The line that is closest is the sheet so as the spinnaker is hoisted, the sheet will pull the spinnaker out of the bag towards the back of the boat. And the other line here is the guy. And again, as the spinnaker is hoisted, the guy will pull the spinnaker forward up to the pole. Now that you've seen how the bag is set up and how the lines are all attached to the sail just prior to hoisting, here's a clip of us actually hoisting the sail out of the bag. and. When I have a, a regular crew, and we're racing regularly, we would actually do this with the Genoa still unfurled, and we would hoist it on the outside of the Genoa, the head sail. But it was such light wind conditions, and like I said, there was so many new people to the boat that weren't familiar. We just rolled up the Genoa first to make it a little simpler and avoid any uh, big errors that could could. Uh, happened if we had left the head sail out. Well it didn't take long and we had some pressure in the sail so let's take a quick look at the pole, the guy and the sheet. So now that the spinnaker is hoisted you can see the pole here and the topping lift and the front end of the pole and then it's attached to the downhaul there and at this end of the pole we have our guy even though these lines are the same and the sail is symmetrical the line that controls the pole is the guy and on the other side that's the sheet so when we jibe these just reverse rolls and that line over there would become the guy and this line becomes the sheet and does the job of controlling the outer edge of the sail like you just saw. So the line that is controlling the pole goes through a snatch block about midships and then goes through the second block that is permanent and to this winch. The line that is the sheet right now does not go through the snatch block. It's been released 
and it just goes directly back to the permanent block here and to this winch. In the previous video showing how the spinnaker pole is set up, I went over my downhaul or four guy is another word for it that controls the downward force on the pole. If you didn't have that, the pole would do something that's called skying because the force of the sail and the wind in it will always want the pole to rise. So you need that downhaul. And like I mentioned in my previous video, I can operate the downhaul or the crew member that's operating the downhaul can do it from either side of the boat. So here's a really quick look at the pole being brought back and how Ray is able to operate the downhaul from that same side. Well now for the clip that some of you might have been waiting for, which is how to jibe the pole. And on my boat we do an end for end jibe and although Patrick's very familiar with how to do this maneuver uh, with my spinnaker and pole, the other two crew members I had uh, helping him do the, the jibe we're actually uh, doing this for the first time while I'm recording. So it took a little longer than it normally would, but with lots of practice, it would get more efficient and faster. Okay, so we're about to jibe. What Patrick's gonna do is he's gonna release the pole from the mast. He's gonna bring it over to the sheet, hook it in. Now he's released the guy. Okay, she in. Good. The person who does the most work while flying the spinnaker is the person who's controlling the sheet. And in this clip you're going to see where Dean is standing so he has a good view of the spinnaker and how the line is run from the spinnaker to the winch and up to the location where he's standing. Dean stands up on the deck there and he can see the spinnaker better to control the shape of it. And that line is the sheet. It comes back to this winch. And now that we've jibed, this is the sheet. And you can see in the distance there, the line that used to be the sheet is now the guy. It comes back to this winch. It controls the pole position. Well, it's time to jive the pole once more, and again, it wasn't super fast, but by doing it slow and steady, we managed to get everything shifted to the other side without any issues. Okay, I'm dead downwind. Anytime you're ready. Diving. Let go. Uh, I've let go. Okay, pull back. Good, James, pull in. Pull way in, way in. Where's the line? Yeah, keep going, keep coming. There we go. Good. Perfect. Okay, got some downhaul tension. Well, it was just a short spinnaker run, and we're ready to douse the spinnaker. So in the clip you're going to see there wasn't a lot of wind so it's not going to look the same as if we had wind. And the first thing I like to do is move the pole forward. Patrick's going to go up to the front and he's actually going to release the spinnaker from its shackle. And you're going to see the spinnaker in a, in a windy scenario flying forward like a big flag. And there's no pressure on that spinnaker now. So that's the reason that we actually release it from there. And now it'll be very easy to douse. Using the sheet, 
we're going to haul the spinnaker back into the cockpit and down the companionway while at the same time it's being lowered by its halyard. So this is just the way I like to do it on my boat. There are other ways to do it, but this works well for me and the crew that I have. And uh, I actually like this method quite a bit. Guys released. Okay. All right, so just huh? Now normally that would flap around yeah. with the wind. Dean is going to use the sheet to pull the sail back. Allison's going to grab the sail, start grabbing it, now pull it up and over. And once Rod's ready, he's going to start lowering the halyard. So let us know when you're doing that, Rod. Yeah, it's going down. Okay, Rod's lowering the halyard. Dean has unclipped it. And Ray is carrying it the rest of the way down into the cabin. So I just the head sail out. Is that? Yep, we can take that out. Dean's going to unfurl Sorry, the Genoa. Well that's it, there's the video on how the spinnaker is hoisted, flown, jibed and doused on my boat. And I know there are other ways to do this, I'm just sharing with you how I do it on my boat and it's uh, a method that works well for me. Hopefully the video made sense because it was a little difficult to film that while we were racing and I was trying to film for the actual race video, but uh, I did want to at least post this and let you guys see how uh, things are done for those maneuvers on my boat. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.